I am here with Rachel K. Albers. Some of you might know her as RKA, and it's so much fun to be talking with you, Rachel. I'm so glad to be here. I had to unmute myself because in these days, these pandemic days, I just preemptively mute myself. Does I, I feel like, <laughs> am I alone in that? Do you ever do that when you're on a Zoom oh, call? Oh, for sure. I, I'm, I'm, I mute myself most of the time when I'm not talking <laughs> because, and also because, you know, I've got a dog, I've got a cat, you know, exactly. <laughs> who, who knows what's going to happen around here. But uh, exactly. just, just so that folks who uh, haven't yet uh, gotten to know you, uh, just a little bit about what I know about you is that I, you know, the, the, the basic is this, I think you make marketing fun. You make marketing really entertaining, really fun. And I think that perspective is going to be so well uplifting uh, for a lot of the folks who are here when so much of the time we see marketing, when we think of marketing, I mean, most of the people who are watching this, uh, I mean, some, some of you watching this actually like <laughs> think, you know, have good thoughts about marketing, but a lot of us who are watching, you know, who are in this conversation right now, think marketing, oh, it's so heavy. It's like, oh, I got to like, I got to like make sure my message gets out there so that I can finally do the work that I'm meant to do. So the marketing is like a means to an end. It's a necessary evil. It's like, but that's not how you do it. And I want to make sure, and you know, what? I'm just going to go ahead and do this right now. Is that okay? Can I share my screen? and show people yeah, how you fun. do marketing. <laughs> I'm, so this will be an adventure. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Check, check out, check out Rachel's website. Look at this. Okay. So this is one of her two websites. I want to show you both. Right. And so look at this and Rachel, each one of these is you. <laughs> these aren't five different people. Well, there are five different alter egos, but it's you, right? And it's um, me. It's me. <laughs> there you go. And so look at this. So this is this is you know Rachel makes marketing fun. This is her other website. So Rachel, you have you have two websites. You've got RKA Inc., which is where you actually the it's a done for you service. So you do yeah. the branding. Um, to tell us what you do here. We'll we'll go here and then we'll go to the other one. You know, like you said, you're you know what you can come on board and just be just follow me around and be my explainer, my hype guy because you did it perfectly. Over here at RKA Inc., we help. Um, businesses, specifically like visionary rule-breaking businesses who are in a reinvention, they're growing, they're trying, like they, you know, we help them rebrand and we help them with their brand strategy. We help them with their visuals. We help them with their web design and tying all that into their, their business strategy and making sure it all is connected. So that means we work with people for six months, nine months, a year yeah. to make these transformations. That's what we don't do over here. Yep. I'm totally. excited. I just re I just launched this a month ago. So when I look at it, I'm like, I'm still like, look at my beautiful. It is. It's beautiful. Creation. It's really cool. I love it. I love I love the one, two, three. And do you guys do um, the copywriting as well? Yeah, we do have uh, okay. a, a group of copywriters that we bring in and work with and match make with our clients based on their I love that niches matchmake. in their industry. Yes. yes, I love that because I have worked with so many copywriters that even though they're wonderful people, it's just not the right match. And I love that you use that term. I think it's so important. I I mean, you're you're brilliant with your brand, the the style of it, the visuals, of course, but also I like your writing, so that's why I wanted to ask. So okay, so this is the done for you. So those yes. of you who are like, oh my God, I would so love to have a brand that I'm so proud of that I, that, 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 you know, really expresses who I am, uh, rkainc.com. RKA stands for Rachel K. Albers, that's your name, rkainc.com. Okay. And then the other okay. one. Okay. With, okay. And this is where it really gets fun. This is where it's like, yes, this is, this is, yeah. So this, because this is my, this is, this is the brand where I get to like, show you what we could do with you at Arcade, but this is where I get to do my stuff, you know? So it's, Right, it's right. And you have this thing called awkward marketing, <laughs> which is really funny. And um, you have these great little uh, YouTube videos um, that are so, that are so cool. And uh, I, you know, this is, this is entertaining stuff. I mean, this is infotainment, right? Cause you're, you're both, you're both communicating a message that people can really um, you know, kind of shifts their mindset about marketing. And at the same time, you're here to entertain them. So, you got <laughs> so that's it. really cool. You got um, it. 
so so what do you um so obviously people can subscribe via email or on yeah. youtube uh to get your messages um do you offer like courses uh what do you what do you offer here for sometimes people? i do you know when i was planning when i was doing this rebrand the most important thing about this was that i created a container mm -hmm. for offerings that yep. allowed me to explore marketing with my with my audience over here right yeah but when i decided to launch this i said you know what i wasn't going to i have had courses and i do have courses but right now i don't have anything i'm selling over here and that was kind of a conscious choice with this brand you'll see that like there's nothing to buy yeah um yeah, it really totally. is just like i invite you into a conversation with me because that's where i'm at it's like right. let's uh, you can, you know, you can hire me to speak at your event. That is one yeah. thing yeah. you can do. Sure, but sure. other than that, when I launched this, it really was to create um, a launch pad for future things. Yes. And, you know, also as a way of walking my talk for my clients of like walking, of really modeling, it doesn't, you don't, you know, if, when you're launching a brand, you don't always have to have a gotcha. It doesn't have to be wired into some elaborate funnel. I don't have that, you know? Yeah. yeah, I am just showing up and wanting to have this conversation with people. And yes, I will give you ways to give me money one day if you want my help with something. But sure. right now, yeah. that isn't my top priority. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Um, wow. So yeah, there's a lot that people can learn from and enjoy themselves along the way uh, by coming here, Rachel K. Albert. Yeah, this is super fun. Right. It's right now. It's just like a place to to really dive into these yeah. videos that I've created, and and yeah. it's a and, real. And and this this wow. part, this thing this thing was was amazing. Okay, so you okay? So this is something I haven't seen anybody else do. I mean that, that I personally know. I'm sure people obviously do this all the time, but create gifts or gifs, <laughs> depending on what camp you're in, um, right. that actually people use on the internet. Now you have 1.4 billion. I mean this now is 1.5 uh, as of the well, as of is, today. <laughs> I mean this is un unreal. So. 1.5 billion uses or at least views of your gifs and gifs you have a bunch of them like like here are examples of them mm -hmm. um you create the these and do you do you help clients create these too i'm just curious about i have a course um oh you, if you go to, i do have a little mini course where i, I teach awesome. people how to do it that i okay. you know it's called what, what, gift university called? yeah if you go to it's called give it to me baby but if you go to giftuniversity.com, you'll find it um but you know, I, I sometimes help clients. I don't really, we don't really create things like this for clients, but we, we do show them how and really we're more about the strategy behind it. Let's help you create. Here's the thing, George, is that these gifts, oh my God, the sales page needs to be re reworked since my rebrand. Here's a really good example of just launch sloppy sometimes, George. <laughs> That's just okay. Launch sloppy it's with still, little details behind the scenes that are It's still messy. better. It's still better than most websites. So don't oh, worry. God. But you know, like, what these gift these gifts came from my videos right my my longer videos and i just basically can take a five minute video i can theoretically turn it into hundreds of gifts about if i wanted to and that's what i've done though i've taken the funny moments from my videos which i've already created totally. and i've turned them into gifts and then the yeah. gifts take the life of that content and stretch it for me and give it more traction and yes allow me to use it in different places and to yeah. use it for actually honestly to take the original content turns into new content because i've for taken sure. the gifts and then turned yeah. the gifts into like listicles and funny stories yeah so so tell me well yeah tell, tell me about tell me about how you really use your gifts like like you know i i can't i, can't, I imagine that obviously people on twitter or or wherever, if they, they find your gifts, they use it. They're probably gonna go, oh my gosh, I gotta find this lady and hire her. It's probably not like that. No, but, not at all. But, That's yeah. not why I even started it. I'll tell you what, the, first of all, I started creating gifts out of the hilarious selfish desire that I wanted to be able to use my own face yes. if I was using a gift in my emails to clients or right. even like sending stuff to my friends and family. I, I thought it would be hilarious to be able to gift myself and then like send it to my dad. And that's what I do now, by the way, I still find it hilarious. I'm, I'm such a dork, but I started that way of, yes, I yes. wanted to be able to personalize my messaging to yep. my eye. And like, also I have these funny videos and I make funny faces. So why wouldn't I, why would I use a, a, a video of like the office? Right. If I could use a video of me, which is helping people. It's building a relationship. It's giving me, you know, building my of brand awareness, of all course. that good stuff. Yeah, it's so really- So I just started creating the gifts that way. But then one day, 
one of my gifts like went viral. Like I got like a Google oh, yeah. alert that one of my gifts like took off and then wow. suddenly random people yeah. are using my gifts. And I was like, okay, wow. And, you know, I had created at this point hundreds of gifts that I didn't really care if anyone used them or not. Right. But I had search engine optimize them just for the fun of it. And I had just made, you know, put my branding into them in terms of the, the keywords and stuff. And then people started using them. So, okay, no, there is no, this is a vanity metric, pure and simple, George. I love to be able to whip out 1.5 billion views at a, at a cocktail party because nobody yeah. else can say they have billion yeah. of anything. Yeah. But the reality is the value to me is more about being able to use this form of communication that we use on yep. the internet. Yep. Being able to use it in a personalized, fun way yep. to stretch my content out, which I think a lot of it, and uh, to also, it's basically, here's the thing, George, my own audience finds me around the internet all the time and they'll text me or they'll message me or they'll email me and they'll say, look where I found you. So in that yes. way. Yes, you're, you're, a, you're everywhere. So, so that's yeah. one of the things that I really do believe is helpful um, well, that, that I try to do myself is uh, so the ubiquity, it's like, it's like, you know, I, and I, I know it's, it, this is, I mean, you've done it in a very clever way in that you've created these gifts and therefore they see it everywhere. Um, the way that traditionally people are everywhere is that they just post on all these different platforms, right? Which is what I, what I do. And not everyone has to, I tell everyone, listen, you, you can focus on one platform or two, but you're, you know, you're, you actually, the, with the gifts, you have a far, far reach. I want to show people your Instagram also. It's a lot of fun. Um, so you know, nice. you could see how to, how to, how to get there. Rachel K. Alvarez, just like it's spelled nice. here. And yeah, I just encourage you to go follow her because, uh, she doesn't post too often, but when she does, it's like really good stuff. Um, I That's was accurate, looking... George, you're right. I've been yeah. going through it. I've been yeah. going through it, but yeah, I'd like to be an emblem for quantity, quality over quantity and, yeah. and helping to liberate my own clients totally. from the, uh, the expectation yeah. that you have to be. Yeah. like omnipresent and like talking all the time. Like yeah, you yeah, constantly totally, totally. have to be. Yeah. So. And one of the things I saw early on as I was um, kind of re getting reacquainted with you uh, on Instagram is this thing that you have called brand crastination, which I love so much. And I want to spend just a few minutes talking about this because I know so many people who are here resonate with that. Um, I mean, yeah, I've, I've never this. met anyone who does not practice or have a problem with brand procrastination. Okay, what life. is brand procrastination? So, I mean, right in front of you, here's a great, yeah. I've, I've already done the job for myself. The act yeah. of delaying one's launch in order to perfect small yes. inconsequential. Okay, skills. but the thing is, of course, uh, inconsequential is the key word in that the people who are doing this, which I know, I know people doing this and I've done it myself, is like, we think it's important. That one little thing is. <laughs> you we, know what? Yeah. Let me complicate. So you, yeah, it can be like the color in your logo that you're like, oh my God, no, I'm sorry. I need to spend another week getting this perfect shade of blue or it's just not going to work. So we have that problem. And that's an example of inconsequential. But I'm going to throw a wrench in the works and say, sometimes it's consequential stuff. And it's the stuff that you need someone to step in and say, this is a great idea. I love this. We're going to do it after we launched phase one of this project project or phase two, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I see a lot of people brand procrastinating in the service to this, this fake, this false, uh, this myth of perfectionism. So I am the queen with my own clients of saying, yes, phase two, that's a phase two item. So okay. even if it is a consequential detail, being able to say to yourself in all things, I, I'm, I'm all about launching yeah. dirty. Like I just showed you, yeah. I've got, I've still got my own launch details that are still dirty, but I had right. to launch or right. what I had to launch. I literally had to launch. Look at my, I mean, yeah, like, like, yeah. like this part, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but it's, it's okay. I mean, people who are, people are going to come here and they go, Oh my God, I can't believe this isn't working. I'm, I'm leaving. No one's going to do what that. It is. That's no one's, no one's going to do that. I mean, they're, they, they probably are here because they heard about it. And right. so they're like, Oh, that's funny. That didn't work out. Okay. Let's keep going. You know, that's usually the people's reactions to these kinds of things, you know, may it just be like, or like may sometimes when I see other people that I admire, especially or not, maybe, and they've made a mistake or their like sales page looks like crap or something. I'm like, Oh, thank God, because <laughs> and they looked superhuman. So thank God, even this person makes it, even this person has a typo yeah, in their totally, email, you totally, know? Yeah. 
Um, so, so, so the bottom line, you know, like what I've seen people do is they build their, they take like a year to build their website <laughs> or longer, <laughs> or even well, just like to me, yeah. even six months, uh, nine months, I mean, nine months, because you're bir bir birthing, birthing a human being and maybe, maybe a website is like that, that complicated, but, uh, um, well, it is uh, and George, we can have a whole conversation about that, but yeah, I hear you. So yeah, people take a long time to birth their websites. Yes. Yeah. I'm with yeah. You. Or, or to, or like, and, and I think part of your message here is like, once they birth their website, now they go through the, <laughs> now they're like, okay, I got to change everything now. <laughs> it's like, they, they just spend a year and a half but they're launching their website and it already feels outdated to them. And now they're like, oh my God, I've already evolved beyond this. And then let me spend the next year and a half rebranding. Well, that's, that's literally what happened. I mean, that is <laughs> that is the natural evolution. That is the branding process. Scientists have studied it, George. That's what happens in the wild. Um, <laughs> so many of us, but yeah, it is, you're getting into your, your own head. Um, the thing about the website process that I that makes it tricky is this. What I found, and I just kind of recently made this realization, George, so like breaking news, you're the first to hear this. Wow. What I found is why does the website process take so long? Because I've been trying to crack the code. My website process, I'm going to be like full disclosure, takes a long time. Sure. Our sure. team, when we work with a client going from start to finish, we're looking at between, I would say, six to 12 months. Like that's okay. our well, average. Well, why I mean, though? Like, why does it you're take that long? You're doing an amazing job with it. I mean, that's... It's, but... It's, it's, it's here's the it. trick though here's yeah. the little trick i what i found is in this world of endless coaching and courses and strategy and tactics and i'm going to learn this new skill and i'm going to learn about branding and all of this stuff people need to have something tangible to apply their big visionary business and marketing strategy to yeah so what i will say is the secret is people come to me for the website but the what, what i sell them is not a website what are we sell them business strategy brand strategy and marketing strategy and the website is a cherry on top right and why does it take so long because most people actually end up realizing when they're doing a rebrand process or they're doing a website they haven't made decisions around these other areas and they're forced to if they're going to actually get through this process and do it right does this make sense yeah. so i just kind of had this realization yeah. that the value of the website as part of a branding process for example is that it offers a tangible container yes through Correct. which to meaningfully look at a business's like overall business strategy and then overall brand and marketing and positioning strategy. And the website is simply um, a vehicle through which to do that. So that's for me, a valid use of a nine month website process. But if you're just doing it because you can't freaking choose the shade of blue or cause you want to start all over cause you want new photos done just cause you like, you know, saw somebody else did something that you liked. That's another story. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Yes, I, I I really like that. Yeah, I, I really it, it's and it's kind of a little bit similar to and I'll I'll stop the screen share now because I can't concentrate when I have that great video going here on, on your YouTube. Um, I I see business, the the process. Well, sometimes I say this: the process of marketing is really the process of a business finding its own calling. You know, <laughs> like that's and and then further out. Um, the that's process. a very beautiful thing. That's like the most poetic thing I've ever heard in my life <laughs> as applied to marketing. And then further out, the process of business is really the process of a human being, you know, finding their, you know, it, it, the process of personal development on the professional stage. I mean, it's, as you well know, it, it, there's so yes. much, so much personal development involved and we've really, all, everybody here. Totally. So, yes. so we have, a, we have like two, three minutes left. Um, anything you want to be sure you you know, share with the audience something coming up for you. Um, any, any other kind of parting words of George? This was every. This is this was what was coming up for me was this conversation today in this moment. No, you know what? Head on over to awkwardmarketing.com and have some fun over there. There's some really. I, I would say if you want to know where to start, start with the office. You're right there at awkwardmarketing.tv. You can go to either one, awkwardmarketing.com. That'll take you to my hub. Yep. You can go and dive into the show. If you scroll down a little bit, you can dive into, if you're like, where do I start? Go down a little bit more. And there is the office, right? And like, I think that's a good crowd pleaser if you're overwhelmed. Start there. It's a ton of fun. Um, and just, you know what? Because I'm, I'm in the process of, of transformation in terms of how I help people. 
And, um, and so we're having a conversation, like that's what's happening over here on this side of my brand. I'm really excited about it. I was like an artist and mm -hmm. as, um, a marketer in pursuit of meaning, George mm -hmm. is what I like to call it. Yeah. Like, look at you, <laughs> look at you. Just like, <laughs> this is like being on a news show where my clips are being, uh, like yeah. you've got my clips going Oops, I know. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Oh my gosh. Um, do you, are you ever going to teach people how you make these kinds of videos? You know, yeah, I thought that, would, that could be fun. Oh, that, that you, is, that you have to, you, it's, it's a requirement. <laughs> That's part of your calling. How's that? <laughs> is it? Okay. I'm totally into it. Yeah. Well, I, these, I mean, are, I just, these, these are super fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because that's one of the, one of the geniuses that you do is, is have these videos anyway. So, you know, Rachel, what I was really proud of George, yeah. just like to give myself a plug, cause we all should be our own fans is that in this particular videos case, I literally built the sets. And when I say built the sets, I didn't just find the office background. I took a blank page and in Photoshop using stock imagery, one by one by one built uh, Michael's office specifically. Wow. Like I found the shades and I found a background, wow. made the conference room. Yeah, I made okay. the, so even though it wasn't an actual set, this is a digital set made on a green screen. I right. re I essentially recreated the office backdrops yeah. myself using stock imagery and, yeah. uh, and Photoshop. Isn't that wow. fun? So, so cool. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a work of art, you know, and it's something that, that goes far. I mean, this is something, yeah, you could obviously really distribute this all far on Facebook, YouTube, everywhere else. So I could, and I, and I will, and I, and that's what my dad says, right? You know, so there yeah, you go, George. Right. <laughs> well, Rachel, um, I know I'm, I'm really glad for my audience here to get to know you and uh, to bring some more fun into and color into marketing. Um, uh, earlier we were saying that we, I don't think we said this in the recording, but we have the same heart and a different style, different voice. And I, that's what diversity is about. That's what biodiversity <laughs> and, you know, and everything. So I, I love it. I love it. Um, love what you do. Thank you so much for the work mm -hmm. that you do. George, thank you. Yeah, thank you.